India Global. India Global. Hello and welcome. Put on that sombrero. Grab a tortilla. Whip up a chocolate drink and let's listen to some mariachi. Because we're headed for Mexico. Mexico, aquí vamos. Mexico, here we come. <laughs> Traditional mariachi music of Mexico. Mariachi has been recognized as part of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity by UNESCO. The United Mexican States, as Mexico is officially known, is located in North America between USA and Central America, with the Pacific Ocean on its west and the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea in the east. High mountains, plateaus, desert, and low coastal plains make up the picturesque and biodiverse geographical features of Mexico. Mexico is located in the Ring of Fire, one of the planet's most violent earthquake-prone and volcanic zones. The largest wildcat in North America, the jaguar, can be found in Mexico's southern jungles. While the world's smallest breed of dog is the chihuahua, named after a Mexican state. Five major and rich ancient indigenous civilizations, including the Olmec, the Maya, and the Aztec, flourished here until the Spaniards conquered and colonized it in 1521. After 300 years of Spanish rule, Mexico gained independence in 1810. Mexico is a federal democratic republic with a president both head of state and government, directly elected for a single six-year term. Mexico is the largest Spanish-speaking country in the world, but over 60 indigenous languages are also spoken here. It is a multi ethnic society with a large population of mixed Amerindian and Spanish descent, while about 12% of the population is indigenous. Though predominantly Roman Catholic, it has a character of its own due to the overlapping of indigenous traditions. Built in the 16th century by the Spanish on the ruins of Tenochtitlan, the old Aztec capital, Mexico City, the capital of the country, is one of the world's largest and most densely populated cities. <laughs> India-Mexico relations are characterized by friendship, mutual understanding, and vigorous trade and investment ties. India's ambassador to Mexico, Sujan R. Chinoy, speaking about these close bilateral ties, says, Mexico was the first Latin American country to recognize India's independence and to establish diplomatic relations in 1950. Both countries chose distinguished luminaries as their first ambassadors, with India appointing Vijaya Lakshmi Pandit and Mexico appointing Emilio Portes Gil, a former president. Both are diverse, populous and dynamic emerging economies. As fellow democracies, we face similar challenges, primarily that of bringing the fruits of development to our mass. As G20 members, there is convergence in our viewpoints on many global issues. Our ties were elevated to a privileged partnership in 2007. Several high-level visits have given impetus to our bilateral dialogue. The visit of the Foreign Minister of Mexico, Mr. Jose Antonio Mead Curibreña, to India October this year for the sixth meeting of the Bilateral Joint Commission has provided fresh impetus to our high-level political dialogue. We have several bilateral agreements in many sectors. In 2015, we will mark the 65th anniversary of the establishment of our diplomatic relations. Ambassador Sujan Chinoy, speaking of India-Mexico trade ties, says... There are tremendous prospects for enhancing economic cooperation between India, which is the world's ninth largest economy, and Mexico, the world's 13th largest economy. Our bilateral trade has grown rapidly in recent years, touching US dollars 6.7 billion at the end of 2013. The trade balance is marginally in favor of Mexico because India imports about US dollars 3 billion worth of oil from Mexico and is already Mexico's third largest market. Indian companies regard Mexico as a major investment destination, says Ambassador Chinoy. Several Indian companies have invested in Mexico and regard Mexico as a major investment destination with access to NAFTA, Europe and the Latin American and Caribbean region. The most attractive areas for Indian investments are information technology, pharmaceuticals and the automotive sector. Major Indian IT and ICT companies have operations in Mexico, generating local employment and sharing India's skills and best practices. Recent reforms in the telecom and energy sectors in Mexico are likely to attract even greater Indian investments in the near future. On the reverse side, leading Mexican companies have invested in the auto sector and have established a presence in the entertainment sector in India. Poet, essayist, 
diplomat and Nobel Prize winner Octavio Paz was Mexico's ambassador to India in the 60s and India had a deep impact on his thinking and writing. Ambassador Chinoy tells us about many other aspects of the special relationship between India and Mexico. Our relations are based on the firm foundation of close historical and civilizational links dating back to the galleon trade between Asia and Mexico in the 17th century. In contemporary times, Mexico gave refuge in 1917 to India's revolutionary M. N. Roy, who founded the Mexican Communist Party. Well-known Indian painter Satish Gujral spent several years in Mexico in the world of Diego Rivera, Frida Kahlo, Siqueiros, and Orozco. Yoga is very popular in Mexico. The Gurudev Tagore Indian Cultural Center of the Embassy conducts regular classes in yoga, Indian dance, and music. Mahatma Gandhi is deeply revered throughout the country. And did you know both India and Mexico have contributed to the green revolution in each other's lands? Ambassador Sujana Chinoy explains. In the 1960s, the high-yielding hybrid wheat seed from Mexico, known as Sonora, was instrumental in the success of India's green revolution. We should also recall the contribution made to Mexican agriculture by Dr. Pandurang Sadashiv Khankhoje, an Indian revolutionary historian and an agricultural scientist. Dr. Khankhoje led the Mexican corn breeding program in the 1920s. And there are many similarities in culture and cuisine too, says India's ambassador to Mexico, Sujanar Chinoy. There are striking similarities between India and Mexico. Our people look alike. On a lighter note, one can say that the Indian chapati and the Mexican tortilla also look the same. According to Mexican scholars, the traditional Mexican woman's dress called La China Poblana was greatly influenced by the dress of a saintly Catholic figure named Catarina de San Juan, whose original name was Mira and who is reported to have come to Mexico from Western India on the galleon ships that plied between the Philippines and Mexico. Mexico is a land of rich arts and culture, a beautiful blend of the traditional and modern. Football is the most popular sport. I'm sure some of us have done the Mexican wave in a stadium. Hollywood has its share of famous actors, singers, and directors from Mexico: Anthony Quinn, Carlos Santana, Alfonso Cuarón, to name a few. Mexico is among the most visited countries. Its ancient history and European influence, its beaches, natural reserves, cuisine, and colorful culture, an irresistible draw for tourists. Now, before we wrap up our visit, here's a question for you. India has gifted over 100 artifacts to Mexico's unique museum, the only one of its kind in Latin America. For what purpose? Send in your answers to India Journey 360 at gmail dot com. The first three correct answers will get a music CD from the EIR archives and a DVD from the Ministry of External Affairs. Here's the answer to last week's question on Bahrain. Ibrahim Al Arayed is a renowned Bahraini poet, born of Bahraini parents in Bombay, who grew up in the city. Congratulations, Abhishek Kokate from Anna Nagar in Chennai, Mahesh Ashok Kulkarni from Hubli, Karnataka, and Shweta from Delhi for sending in the right answer. And thank you all for the positive feedback. Until next time, then goodbye and travel safe.